Okay, welcome back to Dealer Simulator. We got two lockers. It's empty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already put it out. I organized it over here yesterday for the thumbnail on yesterday's video. <laughs> okay, so let's start loading some of this stuff up. See what we got. A $75 chair. Uh, it's going to be interesting to load that. Um, we got to take up a lot of room. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a person, a handbag in there still from the last deal. Huh. I didn't see him in there before. Oh, eh, got some stuff from last time then. Okay, now. Start getting some of the stuff open. <laughs> See what we got. Oh, wow. $170 watch. I, was, uh, I thought it was going to be like nothing. Because we got just a piece of clothing here. Nice thing is the recycle is right there. We have a $70 microwave. Got a $90 RC car. Got a snowboard. We've got a skateboard, a $50 skateboard. <laughs> Hopefully that stuff's not going shooting through the wall. Oh, nuts, I didn't want to do that. We're going to take the stuff that you can go through. Put it over. We got a toolbox for 140 Got some more cloth. Whoa, no. Not what I was trying to pick up. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Are we going to get it in there? We might have to open them up on the ground and we just toss it. We'll just set them here, open them, and then we'll just toss the stuff. Uh, we got a play track, five. Got a game, and we've got an x-ray. So many people had head injuries. <laughs> it's like, all head x-rays. Head injuries aren't fun, though. Had one. 140 for another toolbox. I think it's the same toolbox that we had before. This is two, two lockers, so. Another game. And a rip shoes. And a blue box. Usually they're always in yellow boxes. Let's see, we got this one. Yeah, my head injury was a. Uh, I was working for a farm, and I was there, uh, I was in charge of their honeybees. I remember how many hives we had, 30 or something like that, it wasn't all that many. But I was prepping the colonies for the, for the winter, 70 bucks, and I was putting in uh, metal post, um, fence posts, and I was using one of those metal, uh, oh, 100, 350 bucks. Um, I was putting in the f pen fence posts, and I was using one of those fence post drivers. You know, it's a tube with the two handles on the sides. And it, uh, I was talking to one of my coworkers, and uh, I kind of looked away from him for a second, and I hit down with the hit uh, the, the post hole hitter, and the post was must have been on a rock or something because it bounced it, and the post holder came out of the ground and. It hit me right in the top of the head. It broke open my skull. I, was, I had my bee suit on because I was right by the bees, and it, it was it was a brand new suit and had a big blood spot on the top of the inside of the veil. And uh, luckily, he was standing right there when it happened, so he was able to run me to the to the doctor. And I had to have some glue put in, and I that wasn't the worst part. I had uh, had whiplash. And that lasted, I had a migraine headache for six months with that. And then on top of it, they, because I didn't heal fast enough for them, they, f they 
fired me. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I was on workers' comp for a while, and then when they decided that I should be better, they fired me because I wasn't able to come back to work. <laughs> Which really didn't feel legal, but you know, it comes in a situation like that. You don't really want to work for a company that does stuff like that, shady stuff like that. But, all's better. You know what? All things like that happen for a reason. Because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I still had that job. Living in Wisconsin, not in Illinois. And running a YouTube channel. Being able to hear, be here to take care of my mom. So, you know, things like that. Even though I went to seven different doctors when I after I got hurt, and seven seven different nurses tell me, "Oh, you're lucky to be alive." I'm like, "Oh, great. <laughs> I guess I am, huh?" <laughs> but there was a long couple of years where I, you know, you would have to I would really have to concentrate to form sentences and stuff. And I still have bad memory, and I don't know if it's you know, like, contributed to that or whatever. Which is very possible. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Something just fell out. Oh, it's a water jug. That's six bucks that I can get back. I can get for it. Yeah, make sure I didn't dump anything else. Okay. I will see you over at the market. Okay, we are here. Let's start pulling some of this stuff out and getting it priced. Okay, that's a $50 skateboard. We might as well just get this stuff, get some of it put on the tables and set for tomorrow. Okay, we got $50. We can do a whole sell through again. Uh, let's see, we got a microwave. 70 bucks. Uh, let's see. Oh, the chair. I don't want the chair. I want this. The watch. Okay, here we go. Let's see what kind is it. 170 bucks. Nice. And we still have 8,500 bucks, so almost 800, 800, $8,600. So even with two lockers, we did pretty good. Uh, let's see, we got a tool kit. Looks like it's got a drill. Toolbox. 140 for that. That will be good. And how about the shoes? This is 120, so pretty good shoes if they're in a blue box compared to all the other ones that are always in yellow boxes. Twenty, nice. And let's see what do we got here. A tablet, uh, thirty-five bucks for the tablet. What we're gonna do. We're gonna set that here, and we're gonna price it for thirty-five. Now we're gonna actually pick it up, and set it over on this table. We're gonna use that table as our pricing table. Uh, let's see, come on. Let me get that chair to move. Eh, it doesn't want to move. See, there was stuff on the wall here, so I don't know what's going on. Let me get this chair to rotate. Maybe I can get it to come out. Come on. Come on. There we go. I thought my game froze for a second there. It's like the item keeps freezing. Uh, $75. Not a bad price for a chair. Ah! Nuts. Come on. Oh, it keeps getting caught on stuff. Yeah, and it keeps freezing. Oh, 
Come on. Keeps glitching out on me. Just get on the spot and stay there. Gosh. 75. Gee, what an ordeal just to get the chair on the spot. Okay, we got a broken laptop. $200 laptop. Let's get that fixed. And we've got a broken Hello Air 3. $200 laptop. And a $70 helicopter. I love the whole getting a price of stuff ahead of time. Thanks to Japan. He recommended it. Okay, we got 70. They recommend. I'm not sure if it's a man or woman. It was stuff. Okay, there it is. Yeah, handbag. It's a hundred seventy dollar handbag. No one that I was missing out on because it was stuck in the wall of the van. There was something else there too. I'm not seeing it now. DVD game. 35 bucks. Not bad. So how's everybody doing today? I hope good. Uh, let's see, another DVD. Broken, probably missing the directions and um, somehow this guy magically makes them appear. Uh, let's see, okay, we got one we can explore. Oh, here, let's open the tailgate and make it a little easier to get some of this stuff. Um, let's see, we got Hello Air, another Hello Air. Is it the same one? It looks like it. 70 bucks. Two of the same toolkits, too. Seventy bucks. Uh, well, I don't have it out yet, but I can put them out once I get um get them set priced. Okay, RC car, ninety dollar. good and I can get all this stuff priced and then all I have to do is move it over to the next as I sell it okay we got a bag 75 bucks in another color box. I wonder, was there just an update or something? 
because they were always just in those yellow boxes. 130 dollars, not bad. Yeah, running out of room on the table. Got another bag, three hundred fifty dollar bag. Oh my goodness, awesome. Three fifty. I try to get more videos out today. Didn't get many done yesterday, but it was okay. It was my mom's birthday yesterday, so we. I didn't really do much in the way of videos as like normal. Wanted to spend more time. Uh, 15, it was funny last night, because usually when I go, oh, what do you want for supper? Mom would be like, uh, ice cream. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Well, it was her birthday yesterday, so for supper, we had cake and ice cream. <laughs> I regret it this morning. I was, like, felt, like, tired and... Wait a minute, did I actually price that? Got talking and... Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay. It was a treat. <laughs> 35 bucks. This morning when I got got her to give her pills and stuff, I made us an egg and an egg sandwich because I was like, okay, tired and hungry. <laughs> so we gotta get some food in us more than cake and ice cream from last night. So and then I got in here and started making some videos, got the and I'm downloading re reinstalling um Red Dead Redemption 2 because I want to start playing that game on the channel too and I'm thinking about getting right now it's on sale is the um, uh, game construction simulator looks kind of cool it's on sale right now so I'm thinking about it it's in my cart right now but there are a lot of DLCs and I'm like uh, it's like it would be just a base game that I would have it's still 20 bucks, so I don't know. It, it's up in the air right now if I'm gonna do it or not. This game's doing awesome. I, you know, compared to other games, this one's knocking it out of the park compared to a lot of them. I would like all my videos to get this kind of attention. <laughs> YouTube would share them, which. It's funny, since I got monetized, before I was monetized, I was struggling to get 4,000 hours. And as soon as I got monetized, I'm doing the exact same thing I've done in the last, for the last four years. But now that I've got monetized, I'm at 9,000 hours for the year. So it, it shows that, you know, YouTube can share videos it's just they choose not to share them for some reason. Or it's just they're not sharing with the right people, but as soon as they're going to make some money with you... Oh, snap. $1,300. Oh. Rolex. <laughs> $1,350. Oh, my. Awesome. Yeah, if they if they would have shared the videos with people like they are now, I would have been monetized four years ago. Because <laughs> that was always my struggle was the hours. I was getting enough out watch hours. But thank goodness they share it when I'm making money. Because <laughs> you know, four years of nothing but money going out for the channel probably got. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think about how much I've got invested in the channel so far in the last four years that I've been doing it, like, full time. In the 
thousands and thousands of dollars. Actually, this one I should probably put out. Let's put it on, uh, let's put it here. Take the skateboard, put the skateboard there. And the watch, the expensive watch, goes there. Because I want that to sell quick. And we got the DVD player for 70 bucks. I don't, it's nice to have actually start getting some compensation for all the work that I've been doing for years. Here we got another missing, missing parts. Uh, we got our, oh shoot, yeah, come on, hi, yep. Just let me off of that, okay, $800. Nice. It was 800, right? Yeah, okay. And we'll set that over here. Well, this is going to be a good locker. I wonder if they fixed that baseball bat yet. And yeah, we got a headset. It's broken, but it's a 200. Holy crap, 270. Oh, I forgot to have them work on it. 270 bucks for that headset. Nice. Even the movies, 70 bucks. That's that's really cool. Okay, let's go put these down. And grab that. Oh, I should probably price those on the table. 70 bucks. And I think... And 270. Spot on the floor. Okay, let's let's try the baseball bat again. Let's see if it's up for being priced yet. Still not working. Seventy bucks. Do it. Yeah. It's like it might get fixed at some point. What I might do is I'm just gonna go set it over here, so it's out of the way. I'm mean, eventually. I'll just check it once in a while. Um, let's put this here because we're going to be able to sell it now. I have nothing left to price. We're going to run back to the house and get ourselves some sleep. Okay, we are open. And we got a lot of product. Okay, got our first customer. Are you going to be cheap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's giving me what I want. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, what do we want to put out there? What's a $350 handbag? Or looks like a backpack. Let's walk this way and make sure everything is priced. Oh. Okay, what we looking at? Nice. Wow. Two people in a row gave me what I wanted. Okay, let's see. Seventy dollar. No. Huh? Why is it not pricing it? It said what it was. Oh, how you doing? Not bad. Oh, good. The chair. Okay. Let's, uh... What should we put on the ground over there? 
$800 PlayStation Nice yeah, I love it Already priced Okay, let's see What do we got? Um, how about three twenty-five? Three twenty-five? How about three twenty-five? How about three twenty-five? Eh, three hundred. That's as low as I'm going. Your loss. PlayStation's warping into the ground here. Got an earthquake going. Oh, somebody's coming to buy it. Nice. Oh, I'm loving the people today. They're like actually giving them what the stuff's worth. Okay, we got somebody coming for the toolbox. 140. The granny. Oh, I love it. Okay, jewelry bag. 170. Oh, somebody's come for the microwave. Uh, 50 bucks? That's as low as I'm going. No bargaining with that. Nope, 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 nope. You're lost. Okay, let's see what we got. I like having this much product and stuff to go through because then I can actually, you know, like, do stuff. I don't have to just sit and time lapse it what we got oh jeez okay well we had we had some non cheap people for a while there uh 150 is as low as I'm going to probably go with that good luck have a good day okay uh what was I going to oh yeah I was going to go pay my bills while I'm waiting is as low as I'm going to go. We hit it lucky with the first few customers. Let's see, what are they coming to buy? Oh, that handbag. Cool. Uh, yep, yeah, now since they're all getting cheap, getting later in the day, they're running out of money or something, I guess. Uh, 65. Okay, uh, 60. I'm not going any lower than 60. Your loss. It'll sell. Incoming. Small like that, I'm negotiate too much. Seventy bucks. Where did we have this? That at seventy dollars here. Just making sure it priced. Oh yeah. Sweet. Uh, let's see. How about the laptop? Two hundred dollar laptop. Let's put that out there. Okay, we're going for the microwave, and you can have it. Nice. I love the non-cheap people. Fifteen dollars sunglasses. Item without entry. What are we going for? Uh, sixty, sixty-five bucks. 60 bucks. Good. Okay. I was like, I'm not giving it for any less than that. Oh, we've got another.
another one right here. Okay, what's not marked? It says something's not marked. Ah. Huh. Did I not price those? Fifteen bucks. Okay, we got another customer. Yeah, you can have it for that. <laughs> Only five dollars less. That's good. One thirty. I just keep thinking, well, maybe it's not priced. Something's showing like it's not priced. There's an item without. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. They're offering me more than I've got it priced for? Heck yeah, you can have it for that. Nice. It gave me more than it was worth. I don't know why I'm showing like I don't have something priced. Oh, but there's nothing on the table. Why is it showing? They just sold it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not too much difference. Uh, let's see how with the RC car, ninety bucks. Put it here, and we will put out. How about a? F Wait, what are we trying to pick up here? Thirty-five dollar game. Let's put it out there. It doesn't make sense why it's saying that there's something not priced. How about 40 bucks? 35. That's as low as I'm going. Good day. Not. <laughs> yeah, items are. Uh, there are items without entered. Uh, let's see, 60 bucks. What's 60 bucks? Take it for 60? How about 60? How about 58? Your loss. See, I'm playing it like our local flea market, where everything is either retail or higher. <laughs> It's like you go to these flea markets, you think, okay, I'm gonna get a great deal. But yeah, it doesn't happen. Stuff's marked as f retail. Okay, we got another toolkit. Oh boy, toolkit going quick. Well, maybe not that quick. 65. 65, 65, what's 65? Oh, okay, I'll lower it. 63. Good day, sir. Let's see, what do we got? Eh, everything is on tables. Everything is marked. How you doing, sir? Fair price. And we got another tablet here for 35 bucks. Seems to be a good table. People like to buy stuff from that one. Okay, we got a $70 DVD player incoming. That one, for some reason, people are trying to rip me off. 65 bucks. Nice. See? I took my time. And it sold for what I wanted for it. Got a snowboard. And then we're down to DVDs. Nice. Ah, snowboard went quick. How about a $50 game? Let's put that out there. Stuff over here on the ground doesn't seem to be going as 
quickly as some of the other stuff. Okay, we got our $50 game. Getting ready to leave. Yeah, you can have it. I have it for $40. $15 game. Yeah, so stuff has been added since, uh, it's like, this wasn't here in my very first episode playing the repair guy, and the DVDs were priced at five bucks for all, you know, five bucks each. Now we get 50, 70, 80 bucks for, for one. Let's see, where are we, where are we, where are we? Be nice to be able to place all this stuff on a one table and have them all individually priced. Like tag them individually. Twelve thousand four hundred seventy-nine. We're getting some good, building some good money up here. Let's take a look at our upgrades. We're at ten. I'm gonna need fifteen to get the to be able to buy three lockers. Yeah, you can have it for that. Good day. Okay. See? Something without entry. Oh. Come on. I know I tagged you, didn't I? Yeah, it's showing it, but it's not saying the price. So it doesn't always work at pricing everything. It doesn't always show the price. Sold. Last thing. Oh, that was for that bag. It's been on the ground over here forever. Oh, I wonder if it was saying it because I had stuff on this table. Why it was showing that they weren't priced. Oh, good. Somebody's coming for the skateboard. Maybe. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. How about 40 bucks? Would you like for 40 bucks? 38. Guess he didn't want it that bad. Still got a $170 watch here, too. No, oh, he's coming for the watch. No, he's not. <laughs> Not for that price, he's not. 165. 60? Um, uh, one. 150. I'm going lower than that. Have a good day. Somebody will buy it for the real price. Maybe the car will get better reception if it's sitting. Oh, here come by back for the watch. Guy's daughter coming to buy for him. Well, bet oh, better than the other guy was. I think, wasn't he asking for like ninety bucks or something like that? I'm not going less than one fifty. Your dad tried to send you in here to buy for him. Get step up, pay what it's worth. Okay, we got the fifteen dollar game getting ready to be bought. And you bought it. For the actual price that it's worth. Let's see did anything fall through the floors or anything. Yeah, we might end up finding something in there. Okay, we got somebody come for another game. Oh, this is the movie. Yep, no he's not. How about thirty bucks? That's all, that's the lowest I'm going. Oh, let's see, let's set this up on the table. Oh, somebody's come for another game. Yeah, you can take it for that. And we'll put the skateboard up on the because this has been here, it was like the first product I put down on the ground was the skateboard. Good. $35 tablet. 
Yeah, not bad. Five bucks difference in what I wanted for it. Not bad. Twelve thousand six hundred seventy-two dollars. Five items left. I don't have anything over on the repair desk, do I? Nope. Ah, here we're here. Let's see. Nice. See? Told you. If I hold out, somebody will buy it for what it's priced as. Oh, somebody's coming for the watch. No, it's the guy's son. Came in with... Yep, you can have it for that. That's closer to what I was wanting. 150 was as low as I would go with it. And that got me a little bit more. I'm just surprised. That guy paid me more. He offered me more than what I had it priced as. I wonder if he would, what he would have done if I would have offered him to buy it for what... It was worth. Uh, how about 75? I think that's as low as I'm gonna go. Yeah. My rock bottom price. Maybe I should not rock bottom price it, or I might not sell through. Kind of want to sell through. I have nothing from the previous day on the tables. Yeah, we're just gonna sell the last two products. I'm just gonna sell them for whatever they want to give, hey, unless it's like a totally insulting, like half price or something like that. Because I am running out of time. Okay, somebody's come for the skateboard. Oh, hard time doing that. Forty bucks. Come on, there we go. Okay, good. I was like, not thirty-three dollars. Okay, last thing. Nice RC car here, 90 bucks. I wonder what the second number is. 90 to 79. Oh, got somebody coming in for it. Oh. 70, it's as low as I'm gonna go. Somebody will come. One last product. Let's let's move it to the table right next to us. Good, somebody's coming. Oh, come on, offer me what I want I want for it. Oh, jeez. No. Eighty-five now. It's insulting. Might have it till tomorrow. Nope. Not doing it. Oh, come here. Here's comes the granny. Give it to her grandkids. Oh, score. See? Hold out and you'll get what you want for it. Okay, we got everything sold. Off to the locker as we go. Okay, we're back at the locker warehouse. I'm not sure. Somebody asked if you can, like, get your lockers. Like, if you get two lockers here, can you go to the other facility and get two lockers? Like, there's two more over there. I'm not real sure. I'm not going to try it right now, but I will eventually in one of the episodes. Let, let's check. How about, can we buy this yet? Yes, we can. Okay, now I can buy three lockers. So I think we'll do it. Um, let's see. Engineer, soldier, soldier. Okay, we have three lockers this time. And I don't think I'm going to have a big enough vehicle. <laughs> I might have to go drop some off and then come back and get pick it back up again. Okay, we, have, we got a first locker. Let's, we're gonna run over and open the one. 
And we got two here. Sweet. Uh oh. Let's run by them this way so we don't see what's inside. Oh, we got a glimpse. You see anything good in there? Pause it on that spot. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's where we're going to leave off for this episode. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this series. It's a fun game. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to get a bigger truck. Can't wait to get the store so I can get that set up. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. hope you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much to Chris and Heather for being your continued supporters of the channel. Uh, if anybody else is interested, please, please let me know by hitting that uh, join button or doing a super thanks would be greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day.